Right, hey guys, this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com, and I'm taking a look at what's arguably the biggest device we've reviewed in quite some time. That's because this isn't a typical phone or tablet. This is the new Samsung Galaxy NX. Now, when you take a look at it, obviously it looks bigger than a DSLR. This isn't as small as the Galaxy camera that we reviewed last year. Now, when we reviewed the Galaxy camera, we loved it because it combined Android with a better photo taking system that you typically see saw, and it was small enough to be in the range comparison to the point and shoots. That's not what you get with the Galaxy NX because this is something that's decidedly bigger. But at the same time, uh, there are some good things about that. For instance, when I take a look at the size of the device, yes, that's a little bit inconvenient, but it does offer you a little more grip. That's more akin to the Galaxy, I mean, the, the DSLRs that you're probably used to. Now, in terms of the software, it is running Android. Uh, let me see if I can power this on real quick. As you see, when you turn it on, you have like what's called Camera Studio. This is pretty much camera-specific app. So you have Dropbox in case you want to back up your photos, Instagram for sharing, obviously. Now, when you go into the actual camera app, let me see if I can get in there really quick. Yep. All right, and then now I have all of these shooting modes. Now, there are a lot of shooting modes. I'm not going to go through them all because you can find the specs and everything of what each one does uh, online. But as you can tell, there's a variety of situations. So whatever situation you're in, whether it's sunset or you want to get HDR photos or you want to capture a picture and have sound like you do on the Galaxy S4, that's going to be an option for you. Now, uh, what's unique about this is that in it has a quad-core processor, but it doesn't rely on one processor. It has a separate one specifically for imaging. So it's, it's designed to get you better photos. And you see all these lenses here. That's because it actually supports interchangeable lenses. So there's about 13 different lenses. So if this one doesn't get the job done, the default version, you can switch to something a little smaller. You can get something a little bigger depending on how many millimeters you need for each shot. And that's what's going to make this unique. Yes, it does run Android. So it's going to be... Uh, uh, have app support and when you swipe from the right to the left uh, you see you get back to your app screen so you can go into get Google Play and download different apps you can browse around your gallery so we're gonna have some more information on this later when it gets closer to release when they announce availability and price and all that but in terms of just first impressions of the device it's a little bit bigger than what you might typically expect for a mobile device, but it's obviously going to be a little more expensive than what you typically see as well. So this is Andrew from MobileBurn.com taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy NX series camera. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy the video.